Now, in Nairobi, paying with your bill, with bills on your mobile, it's easier than, frankly, anywhere else. Now, I'm not talking about contactless or any nonsense where you're Venmoing or PayPaling. I'm talking about where you literally walk into a shop or speak to somebody, they give you their number, you give them yours, beep, 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 bosh, and it's all done by the transfer. <laughs> Over the past two years, the idea of fast and reliable financial access to debt in Kenya, especially among middle class, has been transformed into a simple word, Fuliza. Sisi don't play vile ni nsaidia. Kuna time unakuanga nje na hauna place nyingine kutoa do so una jump into Fuliza to be on Fuliza is a service that allows Mpesa customers to complete their Mpesa transactions when they have insufficient funds in their Mpesa account. Let's take a step back. Mpesa is an acronym which M is for mobile and Pesa is a Swahili name for money. It is a mobile-based money transfer service, payment and microfinancing service launched in 2007 by Vodafone Group and Safaricom. For one to access Fuliza, you should have an active Safaricom line and be a registered Mpesa customer. With this, Despite the type of phone you have, you only need to dial star 234 hash and follow the simple process. Fuliza as a service and business is owned by three entities. Safaricom and CBA at 40% each and KCB owns 20%. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Fuliza loans hit 1 billion Kenya shillings borrowed daily. In a duration of 6 months, Loans rose to 176 billion Kenya shillings from 81 billion Kenya shillings in the same period a year earlier. Since the launch of Safaricom's Fuliza overdraft facility in January this year, Kenyans have borrowed in excess of 45 billion shillings, an indicator of growing appetite for instant and convenient loans among the country's population. One of the reason why Mpesa, Fuliza and generally Safaricom has become such a success in Kenya is its accessibility. Unlike in the West and East, where big business is dependent on internet coverage, Safaricom does not. Through ownership of a SIM card and being an Mpesa registered customer, you can access instant loans, call, text, and internet service within a matter of seconds. With interest rates of 1.1% and a daily administrative fee on the outstanding balance, this looks, feels, and tastes like a very attractive way to go. And as a result, the telecom house enjoys good profit statistics. An average of 1.4 million Kenyans use Safaricom's Fuliza daily, borrowing at least 446 million shillings. Uh, 446 shillings. This translates to about 600 million shillings borrowed daily from the telco. The data was revealed in its full year financial report released earlier today. It's estimated that Safaricom makes 1,800 to 2,000 Kenya shillings per second. As of the year ended March 2019, the telecom operator reported 63.4 billion Kenya shillings in net profits, which was a 14.7% jump. 
in the period ending March 2021 from 244.6 billion shillings in the same period a year earlier. Despite the growth in the farm, uh, went on actually to post a 6.8% reduction in profit after tax to 68.68 billion shillings in the period under review. With Kenya and Africa's middle class rising, it looks like a fruitful market for not only M-Pesa, but also other financial players. And this begs the question, is this our future economy? We did this after we realized our customers were canceling millions of M-Pesa transactions every day because they didn't have enough funds in their wallet when they needed it. They needed a solution that would help them to complete these transactions only one month after launch. We had over 4 million customers transacting 6.2 billion shillings.